Iranian commander said the Air Force has started to develop a heavy fighter jet after its success in manufacturing the Khosr warplane. In an interview with Tasnim, Iranian Air Force Deputy Commander Brigadier General Hamid Behedi said the process of manufacturing a homegrown heavy fighter jet has begun. He said local experts came up with the idea of manufacturing a heavy fighter jet after the successful production of Khosr, an Iranian jet with indigenized avionics and homegrown engines that, contrary to claims raised by critics, has nothing to do with the F-5 fighter aircraft. The general also pointed to military projects to upgrade the radar capabilities of the Air Force's planes, saying good progress has been made in this field. Iran has also achieved great success in increasing the stealth capabilities of various types of aircraft, Brigadier General Behedi said, noting that the new achievements will be unveiled after final tests. The commander highlighted Iran's progress in developing air-launched standoff missiles, saying local experts have extended the range of Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile, which is mounted on the F-5 jet, from 5 miles to 12 miles. This enhanced range would be very effective in aerial combats, he added. The general further pointed to the breakthrough that Iran has made in the drone industry, saying the homegrown carrier pilotless aircraft has successfully dropped a 500-pound bomb which is going to become a weapon with pinpoint accuracy. The Air Force has also furnished the Abbeval 3 drones with rockets, Behetti said, adding that programs are underway to equip the Abbeval and Cayman UAVs with Keen 1 and Keen 5 smart bombs. Iran has in recent years made great headways in manufacturing a broad range of military equipment, including air defense systems that use cutting-edge technologies. Tehran has repeatedly stressed that its military might is defensive in nature and poses no threat to other countries. Iran is once again showcasing its capability to manufacture fighter jets domestically. However, these jets are heavily based on vintage U.S. airframes, and the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force IRIF, fleet still consists of mostly antiquated aircraft. On June 25, Iran's Tasnim news agency reported that three new domestically built Hisa Khosr jets were delivered to the military. In a ceremony marking the delivery, military officials once again hailed Iran's self-sufficiency in building military aircraft. While described by Tasnim as a fourth-generation all-indigenous interceptor jet, the Khosr appears to be a refurbished third-generation American-built F-5 fighter jet. Iran still possesses several of these jets that were purchased during the reign of the last Shah. The unveiling of the Khosr in August 2018 was heavily scrutinized by analysts, since the fighter's airframe is identical to that of the two-seater American F-5F, rather than a wholly original indigenous Iranian design. The Khosr is heavily based on the F-5F airframe, although likely with new avionics and additional upgrades. It is also the latest in a long line of Iranian-built F-5 derivatives, such as the preceding Hisa Azarich, first introduced in 1997, and Hisa Sikit, introduced in 2007. The IRIF's arsenal mostly consists of warplanes left over from the Shah's enormous military acquisitions in the 1970s. Tehran has, quite impressively, managed to keep many of the sophisticated F-14 Tomcats it bought then operational to the present day. By doing so, it disproved Western news reports in the 1970s that presumed Tehran could not keep these warplanes operational without continuous American maintenance and technical support.
In 2007, the US decided to completely shred its entire fleet of iconic Tomcats out of fear that spare parts could end up on the black market where Iran could acquire them. Nevertheless, the IRIAF remains a largely antiquated air force. And while Tehran repeatedly touts its ability to build what amounts to upgraded F-5s, it still wants the option of purchasing much more modern fighter jets in the near future. In October, the United Nations embargo on Iran is scheduled to expire as agreed upon under the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. The Trump administration vehemently opposes this and is scrambling to have it extended indefinitely. Iran's ambassador to the UN Majid Ravanchi insists that extending the embargo would be a very, very big mistake and warned that if this happens, Iran will not be under constraint as to what course of action it should take. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is particularly adamant that the arms embargo must remain in place. On June 23, he tweeted that if the embargo expires, Iran will be able to buy new fighter aircraft like Russia's Su-30 and China's J-10. With these highly lethal aircraft Pompeo went on to claim, Europe and Asia could be in Iran's crosshairs. The U.S. will never let this happen.